Welcome back, everybody. Well, the UK Prime Minister wasn't in office long enough for most of us to remember her name. This was the view today from 10 Downing Street in London this morning. Watch. And we set out a vision for a low-tax, high-growth economy that would take advantage of the freedoms of Brexit. I recognise, though, given the situation, I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party. I have therefore spoken to His Majesty the King to notify him that I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. All right, Liz Truss resigned after just 44 days of mismanagement of the British economy, making her the shortest prime minister in British history. So what do we have to do to get Joe Biden to do the same? Well, let's head over to London. Thomas Mace Archer Mills joins us now. Thomas, great to see you. Thomas, I must say, I'm impressed that she realized she wasn't up to the job. She left and said, find someone else. I would love for Joe Biden to come to that realization. But seriously, was she taking the blame for what was handed to her or was she really bad at handling what was what she needed to accomplish as prime minister? Well, she said right there that the mandate, Dr. Jean, was something that she could not actually pull out. Uh, she was damned if she did, damned if she didn't from the beginning. And uh, this is unfortunate because we have a government in turmoil. We've got a conservative party, which is absolutely in the dreads. And uh, we just sit here and say, right, but what does the great British public think? What are they understanding? And the answer to that is they're not understanding much. And that's the, the absolute craziness of our parliamentary system here. She was given a mandate not by the people of Britain, but by her party, the Conservative Party. The only one that was given a direct mandate by the country was Boris Johnson. So, and that was to 2025. So this is why you're seeing infighting in the Conservative Party. This is why you're seeing MPs dropping like flies, I mean, prime ministers dropping like flies, because the mandate is for the manifesto. The mandate is for the leader of the party, and that is a timed term of five years. So at this point, Noreen Doris said it the best that Boris, if you're not going to actually bring him back who had the mandate, then it needs to be a general election. We are in turmoil here, Dr. Gina. And it's really unfortunate because when we look at that special relationship, which we're starting to get away from using that term now with the United States of America, it's really uh, hurtful, I think, to a lot of people on both sides of the pond, because the president, Joe Biden, he's come after the UK. He said some horrible things about likening uh, the, the British government to what they did to him and his family as he's all of a sudden Irish. Well, he has British English heritage as well. And then to criticize his counterpart and say, well, I didn't like Liz Truss's uh, tax cuts and all of this as he's shoving an ice cream in his face. Now tell me yeah. that that's statesman, like shoving ice cream in your face, talking about and calling out another one of the world leaders that you work with. So uh, you know, it's just something that we need to get together here. This is embarrassing for the party. It's embarrassing for the British people. And it's embarrassing for the new king who actually paraded around the country with his new prime minister to show that not much was going to change. And if the king is mm. smart, he'll say to the next Conservative Party leader, right, you better get it right this time because I'm not playing this game. Yeah, no doubt about it. And, uh, you know, you look at your government in turmoil. Obviously, the American government has never been in worse turmoil ever. We've never had someone literally demented at the helm. Um, is, this, is this an attempt by those, you just have to ask the question, uh, globalist elitists that we always see undermining Western culture, is this an attempt for them to weaken such great allies at such a critical moment in history um, and a real attack on Western culture? Is that what this comes down to? I would agree with you. I think there are elements of that there and destroying not only great British institutions, but we see it, the destruction of great American institutions. And when we look yeah. at how volatile the markets have been, when we look at an absolute explosive mini budget, which led to the downfall of the trust government, 
Uh, you can't make absolute crazy nonsense decisions when the world markets are in turmoil. When people want a quick fix that you know you're not able to give them. When you look at cost rises, food, petrol, everything. And that's yes. something that we really struggle with here in Europe, especially with the pipelines being so close to Russia, dependent on yeah. their oil. The United States has their own. And if it's one thing I remember about the, the oil, especially in America, is when Trump said, we're going to fill the reserves at $24. And now you've got the American president saying, oh, when it comes down to 70 or 80, we'll fill them up. We would love to be able to have the costs that Americans do to be able to say, right, let's get off of all of this energy independence of everyone else and depend on ourselves. And this is where the trust government said, right, we have the opportunity to do Britain proud. Okay, fracking yeah. might not be the best, but it's a fix right now. Let's do it. Let's frack. Let's get all of our own resources out there. Right, so, right. Look at the contest coming up. There's a lot yeah. that needs to be that. So, uh, you know what? Boris is going to stand again. There are soundings for that, and people are really <laughs> wanting to prepare him. He had the mandate, Dr. Gina. Well, we'll be watching to see, and I know it's quite late there, almost 2 a.m. I so appreciate you staying up late to come on the show and uh, and, and sound the warning uh, signs as you have. Thomas Mace Archer Mills, he's the founder of the British Monarchist Society. Uh, Thomas, thank you again for staying up late. Come back soon. Love to be with you, Dr. Gina. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Coming up, AOC had a really bad day. First, no.